Aries. Hello, this is part two. <laughs> I've kept the cards because I've been wanting to get to you. Um, there is something that's on hold, okay? There's something that hasn't come to completion, and that was the message of the first reading. I hope everyone's doing well, by the way. I just want to rush and go. There's a lot of pressing energy maybe for you too. Um, but let's get to the cards that I didn't get that were supposed to be meant for your conclusion. Part two, I'm going to attach it to the video, the main one. So if you see this, there's the main chunk of the video, part one linked okay so let's let's see what um the conclude what 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 is gonna happen in in the near future for you somebody wants to contact you um somebody wants to connect with you aries okay but they're at a distance and um timing is off timing is off the timing is off okay i do feel it's it's a very beautiful energy you know in a way i feel like it's a um romantic energy shall we say okay so i'm excited i'm excited let's find out aries we have justice just what you've been wanting wanting just what you've been waiting for is what i was going to say wanting and waiting for so justice is here the scales are going to come to balance you'll feel life is fair again things are fair again this will ignite your passion within your creativity also and then you know this is something that dark entities don't want you to be like in your in your place of balance and equilibrium because you inspire others you motivate men and you inspire women all right that's very powerful and you do it just with sheer joy like just with the way a, a puppy opens the hearts of somebody who is not a diabolical person but even diabolical people get open hearts from a, a little puppy and, and the way that a baby, you know, also does the same thing. You guys have this gift. It, it's, um, it's something that you could be in your 70s, in your 60s, in your 50s, and you still have this vitality to you that is a human quality that goes across like a silver, like a silver lot, like a, I don't know, but it's, it's beautiful. It's like a silver lining that's always around you. But anyway, let's get into it and see what else I'm channeling here for my Aries. Yes, look how beautiful. You're going to be very clear spoken, clear sighted, clear vision. You'll be able to see things a mile away. You'll be able to see lies a mile away. You're our, ugh, This is incredible energy. Wow. Okay. Let me just push these to the... Like they, the spirit wants to push you to the top wow that's what i just heard i said let me push these to the top and it's like that's what we're doing with aries we're pushing them to the top okay they're positioning you to where you need to be it may not seem like it right now okay you might be feeling very isolated very alone you're not you know you're not making you're, you're missing the boat you're like oh i missed that opportunity kind of thing but sometimes what i'm being guided to tell you is that is the way they want it Maybe they want to see you sweat in front of your enemies. So when you come in, you're clean shaven, you're smelling, you are untouchable, you are fresh, you're new, you're exciting, and everyone turns towards you. And then, boom, you beat, you beat, you beat anything. You beat the, the competition, okay? That's what it is. So you have this clarity. And let's see what the third card is. Five of Cups. After much regret, after much anxiety, much disappointment, you come to the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter, the one component in everything that happened was you. 
Everything that was consistent and everything that happened and whatever happened was you. And you have to set the scales straight. You have to see where you're in balance, where you took too much or where you were not given enough in return. So you are putting the balance back and you're very clear. You can see clearly your thinking is um, not warped by your emotions. Yes, you have regrets. Yes, we all have regrets. Yes, we've done things, you know. Not all of us have as many regrets as you, though. But let me tell you, by the way, Aries, not all, not because you are too impulsive at times and too greedy. Like you just, I want what I want. And that's the child. Like, you know, I want it now. And everything's going to get set in balance. Okay. So let's move on. I don't want to be like your mama over here because you got a man who wants to be your papa. No, I'm kidding. A uh, man holding a coin. So we have a man holding a coin. So we do have a man who knows his self-worth who knows who he is, who um, has lived some some of his years not being, uh, he's lived his years and he's, he's done with the, okay, he looks young because he's young at heart, but he's um, wise. He's a wise man here because he's, he's invested his time, energy, effort wisely as well, okay? Being guided to tell you that. I feel like maybe you could have passed up this man in the past for some of you. Um, I feel like some of you as men wished you would have made better choices. You you didn't re so you wouldn't be in this regret energy. Door to romance, yeah. Okay, so I feel like some of you uh, Aries are preferring men who are more substantial, who are more forthright, you know, less elusive. Uh, you like romance, but you're you really are practical. You're really thinking more practically on how how to manifest this into your life, and you will you will have victory with a man such as this who's who's willing to give. You see, he has his money, his coin. You can't see it. We'll put that one there. He has his money, his coin. Here, showing it to you with a loose hand, and he's like, well, if you need it and you want it, you could take it. See, it's going to be victorious. Victory has arrived for my Aries. I have not touched these cards. These cards have been there. Okay, I selected them. Yes, yes, there were days ago. But, you know, my life is going quickly. Uh, I'm a Mercurial myself. I have five settings in Mercury planets. So, what well, would be six if we include Gemini? Now I'm freaking out. No, that's not good. <laughs> anyway, so that's why I'm like in and out, digging, zag. I just, there's no rhyme or reason to me. You know, the galaxy is all I know. Okay, so all tied up. So right now, Aries, all these good things are coming to you. All these wonderful good things. Equilibrium, clarity, victory, a man wanting to give you money. And he's, it's, it'll be romantic. All of them are on their way to you, darling. They're in, you know, they're getting, they're coming to you. Meanwhile, you got to work on being all tied up. Okay. There are some things here around your auric field, around your auric field uh, that you have to, you know, little threads. I call them little threads. I wish I could show you like a thread. I mean, it's like, that's literally what they are. They're annoying, like a mosquito. That's. They, they you're like they're very small they'll go away this is the thing about like living life like people think oh well that's just so and so they'll go away or I, you know they're always been in my life they you know they're just a fixture I, that's just you just avoid it you annoy it you you um not avoid it but you avo avoid it or you uh get to deal with the annoyance you know like you get used to the annoyance and so this is what I, I feel like all tied up is. It's not necessarily like something that somebody like is, because you guys are kind of strong personalities. You don't let nobody like tie you down, but you do allow people to do certain things. So that's a, that's a like, um, maybe that's a codependence. That's your polarity of Libra. That's a thing that you're just like, well, they just always done it like that. They're just that way or blah, blah, blah. Like you make some kind of certain excuse where it's like, no, you don't need it. You could actually say something about it. 
but you don't. And because it doesn't bother you, it bothers somebody else. You think, well, why should I do it for them? There's like all these, these, I don't know, but there's more peace in your life coming. I'd say the only time that you, the only reason that you're all tied up and the time that you feel, the times that you feel all tied up is because there's problems with the boundaries. And then this would have to do with relationships. But we're going to continue here. So there's, so the, these two that are kind of like low vibing cards here, regretting some, some regrets. So you still have healing to do in that department. Okay. Um, but th that's the ascended masters. Oh, I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the, I did tell you at the beginning of video one, part one, which will be linked. Um, but yeah, the ascended masters did specifically want to come out for your reading. So I, I have not looked at these cards. Okay. So white Eagle wanted to come out for your reading. Ancestor spirit, connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. <gasps> That's beautiful. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow, that is beautiful. So, thank you, Aries. Thank you, spirit. Aries, okay, so there is now a drop on ancestral energy that's taking a hold of the reins, and they're making, they're helping this line, the lineage, lineage of which you came from and were born from, with the actions you take today, are actually healing the whole lineage, everyone who's passed away. Okay, no pressure. Dr. Imoto Deck. I have it reversed. But it says release. So yeah, this is this is all tied up. Okay, so you're all tied up and you have to release. Adrenals. Okay, adrenals. I got you. Okay, I got I got you. This is good. I'm glad I'm doing your reading. This is very helpful to me. Okay, so adrenals are the kidneys, and um, we have a left and right kidney. It's in the sacral area. It is having to do with survival. The instinct of survival and how safe you feel in the world. It's red chakra colored. Um, yours is, is, so for some of you, I get a visual, it's it's dimmed. It's been dimmed. Some of you have been celibate for many, many, many years. Some of you, um, I'm talking to those who haven't had any sex, actually. So that, that's that been dimmed and the, and the Ming Mang fire, okay? The Ming Mang fire is in between the two kidneys. And there's a there's a fire in there and there's like a flame and the flame is either you know a high flame a mid flame or a low flame and I'm seeing a low dim flame for those uh, who have been celibate which is spirits very happy with you they they're very proud of you they want to send you lots of love they're sending you um, actually a lot of vitality in that area okay so there's a lot of healing and that's part of this release energy that's happening. Um, so listen to music, listen to soft sound, healing music, whatever that might be, chakra, um, maybe start with 369 and then move your way up, hurts, six, like six, six, um, six and up hurts, yeah, um, so yeah, so this is a release that's happening right now, and it's up having to do with these regrets and these impulsive things, and it could be quite intense, because it is not only about this lifetime, it's it's covering some other lifetimes there too so that's the message for you heavy 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 and thank you for watching let's give it a ding to clear the energy and let me blow some sage let me light some sage for you i think i have palo santo not sage okay so we're going to go with some heavy, heavy cleansing energy for my Aries Collective. We want to purge the old, bring in the new. Chiron is there, the wounded healer who healed himself and then became famous. And all others started coming to Chiron. And he was the gifted healer who could heal 
others and worked on healing himself uh, uh, as well. And in healing ourselves, we heal others. All right, my love. So much love and light. Many blessings to you and yours. Good luck on this journey. We're going straight into the Pisces full moon. And this is the first wave. And you are the first wavers in this regard when it comes to the zodiac signs. Or just because. Much love and light. Take care. Till next time.